Welcome to the Kato Perico Route Guide. I'm your host, Donnie Vermillion. It's not my name, but I'm not, you know, you know. All right, so Kato Perico. We all know you can get out of the compound. You can get on in the compound just fine, hopefully. I, I mean, if you don't, all you have to do is take the drainage tunnel. I hope you find the drainage tunnel in the setup. I I'm, you know, it's uh, right here under the water. So, you go into the water and you find it, but you probably did that already. Anyway, now, let's talk routes. I have recently had an awakening in the routes, but that's irrelevant. So, uh, here is the risky route, is you go here, you kill this guy, you go right here, you wait for this guy to reach around here, you kill him, or if you don't want to, you don't have to, and completely ignore this guy, you go here, I hope you can see my mouse. You go over here, and then you might kill this guy, and by the time that happens, Juggernaut might have been already by here. You kill right here, I mean, by these, by this intersection, and you kill him. Ignore these two. You go over here. You deal with this guy here. I don't know when he's going to be, but regardless, you could probably kill him anyway. And you ignore this guy. You go... Here, 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 you kill, shoot this guy, you go upstairs, you shoot that guy, you get the key card, you get all the loot, and by then you should be fine. In case you want loot over here, I don't know what you're gonna do if that happens, just uh, improvise. So, I did that route with some guy I found the, on Xbox Live. He got out there in and out very quickly. We got the Elite Challenge, it was amazing. Kudos. I don't take that route. I take a much safer route. I started the new route here, okay? I go over here, sneak my way over here. I take out these guys. Now, a thing about taking two people out at once is that sometimes it triggers an, anima an animation where you can't go for your their head as easy. So I shoot the guy to the left. I'm not going to have gameplay footage because that's just a pain in the butt, but I, I shoot the guy to the left in the head. I watch out for this guy. Sometimes he can peek around. So I get really close to do this, by the way. That way I don't miss. And I wait for this guy's shock animation to trigger. And then once I see sufficient, I shoot him in the head. You've got to be really quick with that. But if you practice, you'll know. Just use auto-aim like a normal person. You go over here. You go up to the steps. You wait for this guy to pass because you don't kill him. I believe in a philosophy that the less people you kill, the greater chances the new guard set that comes in, once you grab the primary, of course, the less likely they'll see the dead bodies and the more likely you'll get out without being spotted. So I wait for him to go over here and then I pass this way and I go right here, over here, and there's going to be a little place where you can press X, jump, and uh slide across here oh i'm so, I'm so sorry Bef before i do that i go right here i shoot this guy this guy here i don't know why i'm pointing the screen i shoot him that way he can't see me do that obviously go over here and then by the time that happens this guy would have stayed right there i shoot him hopefully all these people have the key cards and then I go upstairs and shoot the guy right here. An important fact of, uh, do not shoot the guy above unless you have shot the guy below. Because if you sh shoot the guy above, the guy below will hear your gunshot, even if it's suppressed. Trust me on After that. that, I take the loot. Now, here's an extra tip for you. If you have buddies and they're the below the age of 10, that's a high likelihood because you're playing GTA 5 and it just attracts kids like you know, candy or whatever, make them stay by the loot you want to grab before you get the key cards. Um, so, yeah, they stay there and they cause less trouble, and the more trouble they cause, greater margin for error, greater margin for error, the more times you have to restart. Um, okay, one last thing, one last thing. Um, once you get out of the compound, you know, go about, by going through the door, the safest way to escape is by going... Just completely left and off at Peninsula, all right? A Peninsula is, uh, just, uh, if you don't know what a Peninsula is, just think of Italy, okay? It's a land that is surrounded by water on all 
but one front. So when you enter peninsula, left, right, and dead ahead of you is going to be water. Uh, jump off there, and you're going to want to dive and, uh, and go into a trench. There, there will be a zone that just you quickly get out. Just go in the trench, swim farther away, you get out.